Warning, there are spoilers for Adventures of Ether ahead. If you or we aren't up to the episode of when these spoilers happen, I'm sorry. We're kind of slow. Last chance to leave. Okay, enjoy. Bye. Spoilers. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a episode recording. Is this number one of Goblin Talk? Or is this number two? I don't I remember. Know. I don't know. <laughs> it's it's whichever episode we put this out at. Yes. <laughs> I, 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 I think this will be number one. Cause, Cause, yeah. Welcome to episode one. I guess this is episode one now. <laughs> of Goblin Talk. Yeah, of Goblin, Goblin Talk. Talk Radio. I am... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You've done, yeah, I'm you've sure done the ruined host. it. You've done ruined it. I just, shut the we ruined fuck. it by starting it. Yeah. What are you talking about? <laughs> Bruh. Yeah, you can edit that out. <laughs> no, keep it in. Why not? Yeah, it's great. And, Why not? Um, <laughs> anyway, so, yeah. introductions. Uh, I'm uh, Matt. Spoke first. Yeah. <laughs> introductions. <laughs> and then it just stops. <laughs> Go. I, I'm Matt. I, I've said this once already. Who do you play? I I play Carpenter, the Vegas. What's your favorite color? Uh, purple. What is your quest? Uh, <laughs> to uh, to I can't say because it's copyrighted. <laughs> Wait, is it? <laughs> is it? <laughs> yes, actually, that whole that whole that bit. whole bit is copyrighted. Yeah. Huh. Well, I know for those of you who got it, it then. Which cool. Which is unfortunate that it's copyright, which is... It's a, it's a cool bit. Yeah. yeah. For those of you who got it, cool. For those of you who didn't, all right. I didn't well, get it, so... I, don't I, worry about I, it. I, I, <laughs> yeah. So, um... I judge you so bad right now, Matt. So, I'm Nick. Uh, I play Ajax. And, um... My favorite color is none of them because black all the way blues... Why the hell are we doing favorite colors? Why not? I don't know. Why not? Let's roll with it. Let's keep going. Why? Are you under the spotlight now? Do you have too many favorite Why? colors? Are you one of those special Why, kids? Let, introduce yourself. What, what, what's up? Well, what's... I, I'm Kurt. <laughs> Kurt. <laughs> the vile evil DM <laughs> of uh, uh, Adventures in Ether. And if I have to pick my favorite color, <laughs> it's blue. 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 Wrong. <laughs> wrong, 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 <laughs> wrong. If anyone gets that, actually, no, that, no, that actually is my favorite color. Is blue. No, no, no. blue. No way. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. If anyone gets that reference, I <laughs> salute you and your mother and father are amazing. <laughs> anyway, and one's a hamster, one smells. Uh, <laughs> we'll leave it there again. Yes. <laughs> um, Hiccup golf. So, uh, what Goblin Talk Radio is is basically us kind of talking about. Just random facts and ideas we've had. The bullshit. Yeah, basically. <laughs> but also talking about the game when it gets to yep. basically our cloud cover episodes where it's like that interlude almost. Mm. Uh, where we do some sort of character development. Shit gets crazy. Yeah. The dee 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 Kind of BS. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, you guys um, will know what we're talking about once you get there and once we... Really get there. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, what we kind of wanted to do was have Curtis talk a little bit more about the uh, the world of Ether, just so our listeners and even us as players kind of know a tad bit more for what he's willing to divulge. <laughs> divulge. 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 Either way. I was about to say devolve is like becoming less and lesser. Some senses. Sometimes the simplest organism, oftentimes, is the greatest threat. So I'm the greatest threat in this room? Nope, can't squeeze it out. <laughs> <laughs> My point is that. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Constipation. The way he died. <laughs> so, the true hero. For this common talk, we will be talking about ether. And to, to clarify, I know I can almost guarantee there are going to be a handful of people that go, Why are you, how do you spell ether? Well... There's multitudes of different di- different kinds of spellings. You can either go with the original Old English, which is the that weird A E letter. Oh, oh yeah, uh, the yeah. one where it looks I like can't... you're supposed to pronounce it like Aether. Yeah, yeah. but it's pronounced Ether, which yeah. is like a- that weird A E symbol. A E funny. T H E R. For those of you, for those of you who got that reference, I applaud you. 
but we're not that channel. But we, I applaud you. <laughs> it's A E funny looking. And then there's quite literally A E T H E R. Where it's not funny looking. Where it's not funny looking. It actually looks like it's supposed to be spelled that way, or E T H E R, as in <laughs> ether. But we we're not doing any of that. No, 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 no. no we spell. we don't come in. Dude, I'm a pirate. <laughs> Ajax, my butt. <laughs> no. But no, for Ventures in Ether, it's A E T H E R. Which is another... not A E funny looking? No, not A E funny looking, just A E. Okay. We're doing normal English, not Latin. Yes. Yeah. I didn't look that up. Ha 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 ha. <gasps> No, you uh, the pencils. Goes to clap, knocks over pencils. <laughs> Dunce cap award goes to Nick. <laughs> but for those of us who, who've heard our first episode, I hope you've heard our first episode. You're not jumping right into our Goblin Talk because you will be lost as hell about every little, every little thing, especially all the well, inner jokes that we have. Yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll be lost on like a lot of the jokes. And just for those of you who have seen like the first couple of episodes that we do have uploaded we're well past that yeah we we we've recorded up to episode 12 yes Shit. and we're we've <laughs> uploaded four or five i can't remember yeah. should be six as of we're recording this i think yeah yeah five or six five or six something like yeah. that either way so, it's whenever but, this comes out but yeah like i said we are well ahead of what we have uploaded yeah. we we do this just in case like something big happens yeah, to one of us sick someone has to work holy shit there's an apocalypse yeah <laughs> we'll still have plenty of episodes backed up um yeah it's the it's, zombies might come to get us but we will not stop releasing episodes <laughs> we might we're not like have the we're like the violinist on the titanic we might, we might be sinking, we might be dying, but god damn it, we will continue playing. <laughs> That's oh, sad. That a but, song. Yeah. But, but but once we hit the cold, it, it, it'll get worse. Yeah. But it, we just start off worse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, we start off basically in the water. Yes. Now, for, I know this question might come up for some people. It's like, why did we decide to name it Adventures in Ether? Mm. Me personally, I don't necessarily remember how we came across that name. I know that I suggested it. Yeah, I remember uh, we were shooting out some podcast names. We weren't... We we were sure with the channel, the Goblin Radio <laughs> podcast, but we... I thought we should have a, a, a name for the game, so... You were about to say gimmick? No. <laughs> I, I was going to say game for the name. And <laughs> game for the name! Babe! Yeah. I know how to English! Yeah, exactly. So, um... But yeah, and we put out a lot. Um, I can't remember all of them. Some of them were just. <sighs> Some of them were absolutely freaking horrible. And it, it, it's not for, the, for you for you guys listening. They're so bad. I've literally forgotten them. Yeah, like, without any regrets. Nope. Like I remember one of them was like. Sky, Sky Pirate Adventure or something like that. It was, it, it was just too much. It was literally way too much on the nose. Yeah, it, it was. Just it was too like much. we were sitting if, on the nose and if just I remember farting directly one, into if, it. If I remember one of the names was was freaking High Sky Adventure. Yeah, which yeah. was freaking stupid, it, and it, I came up with it, that one yeah. on my own. It was written in my notes. And I brought it, and I was like, "Oh, I regret that immediately." <laughs> he was like, like, "I sounded good at the time when I was at work." Six in the fucking morning, sitting in front of front of a cute computer, just typing away, and the name popped up and was like, "Oh, that sounds good. Write it down." <laughs> Two days later, Ugh, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good. What's this little note about? Talk to Jimmy about. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but we eventually settled settled on Adventures in Ether. Why I don't entirely remember, but it was I like, think was I think it was, it was probably just the one that sounded the best. Yeah, it sounds probably. Like, yeah, and then it, it it just yeah, it's nice. It, it sounded the best, and it wasn't on the nose, and it also wasn't like uh, you you'll you'll hear the term thrown around YouTube a lot, but it, 
it wasn't clickbaity. Yeah, we no. did it. We did. Yeah. We we really don't like that. We don't That's, like the whole. We don't do clickbait. We we, we yeah. hate it. Yeah. Well, we, we there, live there, on the there internet. Are t- there are times that we have to use certain tags. That some people go, that's clickbait. It it, it it describes what we do. Yeah. It's what it is. <laughs> we, we, we don't want you walking in blind. Yeah. Exactly. It was like we don't necessarily like it, but we got to do it. Yeah. yeah. We we got to. Yeah. We thought. Anyway, we thought we. I'm but so sorry. I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys bring up questions, and I'll answer them. For 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 you two, uh-huh. and that way, I, some of our listeners might ha- might have the same questions. Because I know later on when we do more Goblin Talks, so we'll release, we'll start releasing Goblin Talks on a, on a regular basis. Yeah. We will post up on Facebook, Twitter, our whole uh, yeah. social social net. I Network. can't English today. Yeah. Social networking, and put forth questions or basically asking for you guys to give us questions, and we'll try to answer as many as humanly possible. Yeah. Yeah. Without yeah. either ruining story or otherwise. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, um, that was synchronized. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Teamwork. Uh, it makes the dream work. Anyway, uh, so uh, there's oh, I can't, I'm, I'm blanking on the name right now, but the the you've talked a couple times about like the where the world exploded. The cataclysm. Yeah. Can mm-hmm. can you give a little bit more information on that or? Well, the cataclysm was sort of an old world fuck up. Uh, the old world decided to well. A lot of the old wor- world is magic tech, yeah. which is technology and magic blended. Think Shadowrun, where magic is an almost an every- everyday occurrence. Mm-hmm. Most people, most people didn't blink that a that your barista was a fairy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I'm just, we're not bad people, I swear. <laughs> okay, yeah, we gotta cut that out. I, 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 yeah, we gotta cut that out. I, I'm sorry. Well, it comes well, like... well, here, here, here. To, to to simplify things, your barista... No, I can't use that one either. Your barista was an elf. One, it, of, the, it, one of the fae, technically. Yeah, is okay. there we go. All right, so... Yeah, it, not... it, wasn't, it wasn't uncommon for magical creatures. It wasn't uncommon for magical creatures to live in everyday life. Uh-huh. Like, um, your, your local sheriff yeah. or police force could be an orc. Or a gnome. Yeah. Huh. The height dichotomy there is kind of odd, but still, you can have both. They would have normal height in children, though. <laughs> anyway. Huh. Anyway. I don't want to know how that's going to work, so we'll, we'll leave it there. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Oh, <laughs> bad, bad imagery. Mm-hmm. Such bad. Yeah. <laughs> but... One's just destructive, the other is just wrong. Just wrong. <laughs> but... The old world decided, in order to basically increase power production, since as technology got more and more advanced, of course, the society's technology is only limited by the amount of power they can produce. Mm. They tried to produce more power by tapping into the spaces between planes, basically. Which, some people say is the astral plane, some say it's the... Oh my god, people are going to hate me because I'm a... Fucking veteran of this, and I should know what it is. The ethereal plane. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> you know, adventures in ether. No biggie. Shush. <laughs> <laughs> and so the old world. Bad high five. <laughs> tried to try to basically tap into the quint quint essence of the universe, basically. Uh-huh. And what they had used to do this were called the pillars. Mm-hmm. Which were ba- literally huge skyscraper energy pylons, basically. And for whatever reason, something catastrophically happened to the pylon network that started a, a, an utter chain reaction of magical catastrophe that just threw energy into the world at a ungodly rate. And the world couldn't really handle that much Holy fuck. Right. So the magic quite literally decided to just shred the world. So it's like when you put too much uh, power into uh, uh, Christmas tree lights. Yeah, yeah, they explode. Yeah, cool, 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 and, cool, cool, cool. And I think I mentioned this, because when we get further on, you'll get to Bree's character development, where I said the person, that one, that one of the people is standing in front of the maelstrom. And 
the maelstrom is the after effect of the cataclysm. It's basically a magical vortex of doom, death, and destruction. So, like a magical black hole. Basically. Anything that touches it is basically shredded to bits, or is changed... Torn from reality kind of thing? Yeah. Nice! (laughs) And so, to continue on, the cataclysm went into another stage called the bleed. As you know, fiddling and fucking around with magical dimensional energy gathering devices can sometimes create holes in reality and that's what the bleed was was basically once that energy was released it tore tore holes into other other realities Mm -hmm. and the shit that came out of those holes were from other dimensions either from other planes or other regions of thought even like some of the more abnormal so so um if 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 some would to please uh for the thought so nightmare type stuff not just nightmare it's more along the lines of um nightmare is a part of it think kind of the dreamscape okay so at somewhere in this world there is a demonic clown spider and I myself am absolutely terrified of that idea, and <laughs> Carpenter would shit himself if he saw that. I but, would say there's a demonic clown spiders. But so. there also means there is some dungeon in which there is a tiny little cuddle muffin spider. The tiny little peacock spiders? Yeah, the, the one, one that's dance. dance. They do the dance. <laughs> the dance. You should give him a pair of Ha ha ha. Yes, literally. Okay. Like, okay. For, the, the <laughs> for, for those of you who actually have, like... Not severe arachnophobia because like if you have sev- if you have severe arachnophobia, stay away from any and all things spider. Yes, um, but peacock spiders are fucking adorable. Yeah. They're adorable. <laughs> Me and Matt have vicious hate for spiders. I will. The smaller it is, the less likely it is to survive in my household because then I don't know where the fuck it goes. <laughs> <laughs> you see it, you go to grab a shoe to get rid of it, and, and then you look back, and it's gone. It's gone. It's just, it's, it's just gone. Did you lie in bed awake all night going, where's the little tiny yeah. bitch? He's got a knife. He's gonna <laughs> cut me. He's gonna cut me. But no, sir, I shit you not. Cuddle muffin spiders, that's, I'm pretty sure what they're called. They do a little dance to attract their mates, and they've got this little rainbow pattern on the back of their butts. It's so cute. Yeah, they're peacocks. <laughs> they're just like, oh, 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 oh. But I can't, but I can't uh, alleviate, alleviate your fears that there is... The chance of a demon clown spider. <laughs> so, yeah. You're going to deal with my whole arachnophobia when that happens. I I, I give you sound warnings ahead of time. Because <laughs> I will tell you, because I know a lot, of, a lot of people will probably ask what that black stuff was that AJ's hey. kind of got exposed to. Yeah. Yeah, because I don't even know what that is. Yeah, you don't, you don't even know what it, what it is to the complete extent. I, I mean... I, I know... We can tell him some stuff, but then again, you're DM. You, you let him well, know. Yeah, he knows of it. Yeah. I, I mean, I've, I've talked about this before with, with both of you. Yeah. About uh, this black substance, which is actually called black blood. It came from the bleed. It was a byproduct of the bleed. So that was somebody's nightmare. There you go. Okay. More than likely. Yeah. Someone's dream uh, thing from an alternate reality... Something that existed outside of existence. That sort of thing. So is there gallons of the stuff? Well, that was a shitty reference and I do not appreciate it. <laughs> I kind of got, I kind of got st- sort of speechless there for a second. MCR. I know. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's only For all our now. emo fans. <laughs> <laughs> but Bruh. to answer your question, yes, anyone who was, went through middle school. <laughs> but to answer your question, there was a large quantity of the of the substance. Oh, yeah. It since the fractures and the vortexes and all that kind of shit closed. Not a lot of it's been seen before mm-hmm. ever, since then, except for what recently happened to Ajax is one Woo-hoo! of the more recent occurrences. Okay. I have a thing in me. <laughs> There's something living inside me. <laughs> no, 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 no. Or as Ajax said, there's someone inside me. <laughs> ah! And but, everyone just kind of looked at me like, what the fuck did you do with that brothel? <laughs> <laughs> but there, there are books, especially like um, 
Henry, yeah. that Henry has, yeah. that tells of that black blood causing uncontrolled mutations yeah. in certain creatures, people, and things. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, so substance is kind of, kind of the. Um, it takes what it touches and makes it, quote unquote, better. Huh. So some some of the nightmare monstrosities that exist now huh. is a byproduct of the, of the black blood, but they're separate creatures from from their were. original birth source. Like how mold turns into penicillin. No, you collect penicillin from mold. Yeah, well, you, kind of. Yeah, it's like yeah, a, it's like we found cheese. We found out how to make cheese, right? Yeah. And then we found out how to make. Different varieties of yeah. cheese. Okay. Yes. Okay. Cool. 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 It all originates from the same, well, almost the same bacteria. Okay. Yeah. Cool. It's fermented milk. Yes. Literally. Yeah. Um. So like. Every. <laughs> for those of you. Um. For the, for the, for the for the uh. For those of you who already have listen to all the episodes leading uh forward to it um i've been obviously gr- granted this great opportunity to deal with a with a fun someone <laughs> and um yeah basically <laughs> um but the problem is all my questions are about them so i've got to come up with something on the spot so like Oh, we can always have Matt stick his fingers in his ear. <laughs> no, no, I actually have more questions if you want to think. Yeah, you go ahead. So, I... Since we haven't talked much about D&D and our personal mm-hmm. lives, I am very much the type of player that I like to choose a deity and base my character around a deity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, y- yeah, I... To me, gods and godlings are fun. Um... But <laughs> yeah, uh, but so this is I think the first time I care my character doesn't have a deity as of right now. Mm-hmm. Um, that well, he remembers. I was about to say yeah that he remembers. He was an amnesia. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> slowly, get back slowly. Yeah. <laughs> Where the hell am I? Who the hell is I? What the fuck? What the fuck is that? <laughs> what are those? <laughs> Yeah, so, anyway, so, like, what are some... Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, we have to end the podcast. I have to... <laughs> uh, so, what are some of the gods and... Yeah, so, some of the gods you guys haven't came across yet, because there is a church, mm-hmm. a temple on Cloud Cover. Oh. Uh, you guys haven't really went there yet, because you really didn't have, have, haven't really had a reason yet. Uh. And I will put a little tidbit, there will be a priest eventually uh. that comes out and goes... And, Starts ranting and raving, the typical "this is the doomsday" sort of sort of, sort of thing. Oh, fun! Uh, they are. Ta- I haven't fully decided who they are, what they are, and all that kind of yeah. stuff. Is basically this. This is further out. Carpenter's gonna have fun with them. <laughs> Ajax is gonna have way more fun with them. Well, <laughs> you're gonna have fun as in let's mess with them. Carpenter's gonna have fun as in I agree with you. Death is inevitable. Let me just help. <laughs> <laughs> but a lot of the temples, <laughs> a lot of the temples in Ether aren't dedicated to a single god. Mm-hmm. They're dedicated to a pantheon oh. of, of individuals. So like Greek and stuff. Like Greek kind gods? of. Uh-huh. It's it, it's it's not. I wouldn't. It's not all in the family. <laughs> no, it's yeah. not all in the family. <laughs> Is lot... it kind of like gods that intermingle well? Kind yeah. of thing. Oh, so, so like, like Mayan. Kind, kind of. of. Okay. So like a lot of a lot of the original gods, kind of vanished during the cataclysm because you know well when your cosmology literally gets torn to shreds, a lot of a lot of the gods that you used to communicate with <laughs> vanish Deuces. or try to fix the world and end up fucking dying because they're trying to fix their creations. Fuck, Fuck up. up. <laughs> so, so a lot of the gods that exist now are sort of replacements for. What was originally lost, because quite quite a, quite a few of these gods were once mortals. Oh. Some of them, especially, fought during the cataclysm and the bleed to protect the world. They either did something that elevated the god status. They were exposed to something that elevated the god status, and so on and so forth. Uh, one of these gods is actually Tyus. Oh wait, shit! Did you have us pick gods at the beginning? Nope. 
Yeah. Was there a reason for that? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> you guys literally never asked what the gods were. Well, fuck. <laughs> Should we do that? No. I mean, I, if you you, want. you can you can dedicate yourself to a deity later on. I mean, yeah. it's religion. Religion is an. Ex- Where's the experience. deity of butt swashling? <laughs> Actually, we'll get to him. <laughs> uh, the, one, of, one of the first gods that were mortal to raise to, to godhood was Tyus. Mm. Literally, he is the god king. But the funny thing about Tyus isn't the fact that he's one of the gods that basically stands up in the clouds and speak, and whispers to people, go, go do this shit, it's a good thing. He's literally a living deity that exists in Eos. And I know people who've, who've listened to the podcast, we've mentioned Eos a couple times, which is one of the few remnant cities that is basically intact okay. from the Cataclysm, uh-huh. which is basically the center of the of the governance and the whole kit and caboodle. Yeah. And that's where Ajax is supposed to find, supposed his, to cure. find his cure. 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 <laughs> yeah. Tyus is literally a living god king. Oh, fun. He does sit on a throne... But he leaves a lot of his ruling mm-hmm. to his subjects because he he believes the better the more vote the populace has the better the better the governance. Uh, he's literally the god of law, community, and protection. Basically, most people who worship him are are usually guards, humans, knights, people who stand against evil. Evil. Oh, so you basic paladin type. Kind of, yeah. The funny thing is, he, I made him kind of lawful neutral. Yeah. Which is, we need order. Yeah. What the fuck happened? We need order after all that bullshit. Yeah. yeah. We need order. <laughs> Doesn't matter how we get it. We need it. Ooh. That's Tyus. That'll, that'll present some awesome, some, some awesome. Some awesome sort of role play. I yeah. But the funny thing is, Tyus decided to raise one other mortal to godhood. Tyus decided to raise a mortal godhood. And that was Saint Luther. Yeah. Is his first name Lex? No. Good. Yeah. <laughs> that bold ass motherfucker. No, his first name is Luther. Oh. Okay. What's the last name Saint? That was a little bit odd, a little bit on tongue. <laughs> <laughs> Saint, uh, Saint Luther is the lawful good side. Of the thing, he is the paladin god. Oh, he's he is the paladin god because he's actually known as the first phoenix. Oh, uh, uh, phoenix! Because hmm. uh, yeah. uh, for this world, that's where a lot of the phoenixes came from. Were from him. Uh, he was the first phoenix, or otherwise known as the. What are you doing with your hoodie? Whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> he's al- he's also known as the pure flame. It was said when he. So wait, did he swear himself to chastity or something? No. When he, he, pure, motherfucker. he was supposedly, according to legend, one of the ones responsible for help for helping to close the bleed, basically to stop the bleed. Yeah. When he died, Tyus saw his sacrifice and decided to basically reincarnate him as a phoenix. So wait. The dude is literally a phoenix? Kind of. He actually has a human form, too. It's just that he's... Every now and then he just goes... Oh, sorry. (laughs) Well, it's... Wait. Is Crow... Shut the fuck up. No. (laughs) No. (laughs) He's more, like, chaotic good. D&D theory. Crow is God. Crow is a god. Crow is a god. No, he's not a god. I'm telling you that now. Meditating this. Crow is not a god. (laughs) He's something else. <laughs> but St. Luther is basically a martyr for humanity. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And then then Ty- Tyus? Tyus rose him up into godhood. Some would say more demigod than anything. Yeah. Because where Tyus is an, is an absolute living god, St. Luther is one of the, the typical... Whisper in your ear, do the right thing. I guide you along this path. Mm-hmm. Where Tyus is like, dude, go do my shit. <laughs> I got seven other shits to do. Go do this and shit. There's, I'm go take a shit. <laughs> there, there, there's a faction that the crew hasn't came across yet that they should, that they do know of. Especially Blue. Blue's ran into these guys a couple times. Doesn't like them. Rented? 
No, ran into them. Oh. I was about to say. Mercy and Mercy. they are quite literally the... the the. Oh, fuck me. I had the name and I wrote it down and now I can't remember it. I am bad about that. Hey, you know. Oh, hey, they're, they're, they're legion something. Oh, shit. I hate it when I do this. Legion of something or just legion something? Legion something. Legion and I want to say the Phoenix Legion. I want to say they're they're basically the paladins. Wherever oh. wherever the reported black blood exists, they usually go out and try to exterminate where it is. Or if there's um, abominations from the old world, they're sent in to purify the area. Oh. Good luck with that. With if you're a, if you're a fan if you're a fan of of, of Warhammer, they're Adeptus Society. <laughs> they're quite literally the ones that burst in the door, shoot, and ask questions later, shoot some more, maybe ask questions again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyone still living? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I got questions. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Do you want coffee? Okay. <laughs> and a lot and a lot of the paladins are known for wielding swords of light. Ooh, there, because that is Saint Luther's main weapon was a long sword that, when he died, it broke. And when his first chosen paladin picked it up, a halo of light basically came from 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 this broken sword, and she was able to strike down more of the corrupt and that kind of stuff. Yeah, and it now the sword itself now sits at Eos. As sort of a beacon of th- this is my church. As long as the sword is lit, my God exists. Sort of thing. Kind of like the whole sacred flame bullshit. Yeah. Uh, see another one of the gods. Let's see, I got Luther, Tyus, Cole, K O L. By the way, it's Cole. Uh, I don't remember if this came up at at one point in time, but it was um the the comet. When it came into the heavens, a lot of people thought that it was going to be another sign of doom. Mm-hmm. That they were, oh, first we had the cataclysm, then we had the bleed, and now we're going to be hit by a giant meteor. Today's going lovely! <laughs> <laughs> what an apocalypse! Oh, so, so many things that just appeared and tried to murder us. It's great! It's great! But no, Cole, which is the name of this meet, uh, this comet... When it appeared, in, appeared in, the, in the night sky, a lot of people saw, yeah, this is the doom of our world. <laughs> this is it. This is the final blow. <laughs> this is the final blow. Where, in fact, it was... TKO. It was when Cole came into existence that a lot that people starting started being able to help close the portals. Okay. So Cole's influence kind of made it to where the portals were closable. Okay. So, so now Cole is sort of seen as... A very good sign if you're born under when coal is in the night sky yeah you are considered a child of coal oh fun because coal is is only cult well coal is <laughs> <laughs> doesn't deny it he goes well hold whenever, on whenever anyone says cult or accuses you of a cult and you have to answer the next word with well or or <laughs> or but Cult. Cult. <laughs> so, I was about to say, he's trying not to say it now. Well, the, the most of the children of Cole are born within the few hours that Cole has seen in the night sky. Because uh-huh. the comet kind of vanishes. For whatever reason, just poofs. It does magic tricks. It pulls a lady in half every once in a while. Well, Cole is also a, is a god of magic. I did not know this. I am so proud of myself. Oh my I, god! And when and, and most most of the children of Cole have a tendency to be oracles, mages, and that sort of thing. So Cole, so Cole is sort of is sort of thing, is sort of seen as a mark of magic. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, a lot of people pray to Cole to try to gain insight into certain aspects of life and that that kind of stuff. Most yeah. of his worshippers are either mages or. Uh, Oracles. Yeah. Uh, 
there, there, there's, there's a lot more backstory to Cole that yeah. I'm not going to say oh, fine. because it's you two. <laughs> to the viewers, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll reveal quite, quite, quite yeah. a bit of stuff, uh, but let's, let's to leave. a certain extent. Yeah. yeah, let's leave. But Cole is literally neutral good. It is said that Cole peaks, speaks to people sometimes, yeah. but it's always in a very, very cryptic speech. Oh, so Carpenter would have the best of time with that. <laughs> Tee hee ha ha. Mm. <laughs> uh, another one is Karth. Karth is actually the kind of god that Ajax would go for. Ah! His his nickname is the Smiling Cat. Ah! Karth. Kitty. <laughs> Kitty. Karth is another one of the mortals risen to godhood. Uh-huh. Karth doesn't know how the fuck he became a god. <laughs> not that he would not that he will tell you how he became a god. He just he doesn't remember. No. <laughs> Woke up. I'm a god. I <laughs> Well Karth Karth is is chaotic good, but he's also sort of the um I'm a rebel for a rebel's sake. Yeah. I do what I want when I want because it's f- it's fun. But if I see someone in trouble, my butt's gonna go help them. Yeah. He he's really no he's 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 really the pirate kind of god, but more along the lines of more along the lines of what Blue does. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Blue, and I will tell you, Blue is a follower of Karth. Oh. Okay. Ha ha. Cats. Uh, Blue's a cat. But I'm dead. Ha ha. Uh, for the for the main thing, let's not fail on that joke. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Come up and do it. <laughs> Dip. Ha oh. Mo- ha. Most of Karth's followers are a lot of. Are bards, travelers, gypsies, good sort of pirates, sort of the I, f- I fly ships for the sheer joy, and the you, freedom. You you are a pirate as in, just for the lifestyle, not the killing, murdering, murdering. plundering. Yeah, I'm in it to have fun. The loot is an added bonus. Blue. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wee! Holy shit! I get paid for this. Wee! <laughs> like Tyus, Karth is a living god. He exists in the world and goes from town to town, city to city, island to island, just seeing what kind of shit he can get into. <laughs> he, he's really My known, kind of god. <laughs> he, he's really known for, when he comes across a party or a celebration, It's it's been known to last longer, the food tastes better, the women look prettier, and the drink is plentiful. What? Well, I think the last two are switched, sir. I don't think so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know for, the last two, so for I'm for, for the for for those of you who don't get it, the more you drink, the better they look. Kind of bullshit. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, please don't have one night stands unless that's your lifestyle. I do not agree <laughs> with that lifestyle, but then again, I will not judge you based on your persona and personality. But Which he, are basically but, the same thing. But, oh, well. Car- but okay. Karth is known to be a very jovial sort of god. <laughs> I'm a cat! And a lot of his followers are known to be kind, jovial sort of people. Uh, a lot of them are the travelers that just exist on the world. They just go from town to town doing doing what they feel is good. Yeah. Uh, another one of the gods is Bolin. B-O-L-E-M. Bolin. Bowling, bowling, bowling. Keep those pirates bowling. Bowling. <laughs> those bowling, bowling. Uh, bowling is the god of death. Carpenter, I, I am not interested. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, about to say Ajax too a little bit. Bowling is one of the only few gods that are still around from before the Cataclysm. Oh. And the reason why Bowling is still around is because you. You can't, can't really. really kill death because death is a primal force of the universe. Yeah. You entropy. You can't have positive without negative. You can't have negative without positive because they can't. They don't exist outside yeah. of each other. Yeah. Unless well, if you're in first grade math. <coughs> True. Hey. <coughs> <coughs> okay. So I'm stuck. I'm stuck in the back of my throat. Uh, Just don't die. <clears throat> yeah, it's a thing. I think it's a tonsil stone. Yeah. Mm, yeah. But Bolin is the god of death, and he's not what you most typically go. You know, he's the Grim Reaper. No, Bolin often appears to people as a farmer, typical guy, 
who is just trying to make a living sort of individual. For him, and for most people who follow Bolin, death is an, is an inevitability, but it is not always the end to things. Well, so right up Carpenter's alley. <laughs> He's, I died once. Bolin, it was cool. Bolin tries not to fiddle with the world like most gods would try to influence humans yeah. and what, or other beings. Yeah. Bolin doesn't do this. Yeah. Because he's like, well, everyone will get to me eventually. Yeah. One way or another. There's there's this little kind of poem thing I've read a long time ago where it's like, oh yeah, by the way, sorry if I sound like I just got closer there for a second. I'm sitting back down. I gotta stand up, sit down, sit up, sit down, stand back up. Kind of bullshit. He got anyway. rushed. He got rushed. Lee. He also wanted to pop my knees. It felt so good. Okay. Um. But like it's like it basically goes along the lines of life makes beautiful gifts for death and death holds on to all of them yeah. kind of bullshit oh he's like uh chicken with shoes <laughs> what <laughs> think on top of it. okay the only time Bolin ever really intervenes in the living world is when the undead are involved because a lot of hi- he himself and a lot of his followers see un- uh, undead especially intelligent undead as abominations to the natural order it's like you were supposed to die why are you still here? Yeah, why are you still here? You done fucked up. <laughs> yeah. You have fucked up. You fucked up now. <laughs> now you have fucked now up. Now you have fucked up. And a lot of his followers, believe it or not, are rangers. A lot of his, a lot oh. of his followers are rangers because they epitomize oh, oh, the, yeah. the inevitability of the world, the natural cycle. Yeah. Which is kind of weird because a lot of a lot of his followers are rangers, druids, and that kind of thing. People who follow the natural cycle. Yeah. His his symbol is literally a scythe. But it's a scythe hoeing a field. Huh. It's not like, ah, I'm the raver. No, it's like literally farmhand scythe. Farm okay. And a lot, a lot of gods usually have a favorite animal or something like that that comes to the forefront that people consider the spiritual animal of the, of the god. His is a wolf. Badass. What's Karth's? Karth's? Is it a cat? Yes, actually. God damn it, yes. It, but it's a golden cat. God damn it, yes. <laughs> I think Ajax and Carpenter just found their gods. <laughs> I've seen the light. It's in death. It's in death. <laughs> I've seen the light. It's in the darkness. There there are a few more gods that I haven't completely flushed out. Yeah. They they do exist. Some of them I will not speak of. Because because it's story based. Yeah. yeah. You'll you'll you guys will come across them eventually. The listeners yeah. will hear about them eventually. But as of right now, huh. They are hidden, yeah, as quote unquote cults oh, around the world. Uh, yeah, they cult. Anyway, I think Nick found some questions. What's up? Yeah. Um. So like, kind of going with the whole gods thing, mm-hmm. and also the whole cults thing. <laughs> um. Are there any like, really majorly known, cults, that are like. Cults, like like full on standard is sacrifice you for my great ever god sort of thing. The kind of like you think your neighbor is Joe Schmo, but every night he goes out in black robes, takes one of his goats, and then doesn't come back with it, kind of thing. <laughs> uh, there are a couple known, but the, but like the the biggest known one is the cult of the black. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm assuming this has to deal with the black blood. To some extent, it's kind of idiots who don't understand the shit they're fucking with. Oh, so so cold. Yeah. So um oh oh uh oh what 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 did they used to call them uh oh what what were they the the teenager edgy emo goths that I'm saying quote unquote pra- practice dark magic that they rented the the quote unquote Necronomicon from the local library. Yeah, I can't do Yeah, yeah, those kind of dumbasses. Oh, like yeah, Vamp Kids? Yeah. It's I what... don't think it's Vamp Kids, but I, I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, I can't remember what... <laughs> And if you're one of them, we're I'm... sorry. Yeah. But 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 Like <laughs> you, I... some of your people have history, like most people's do. Yeah. Like <laughs> Like I understand if you follow Wiccan and stuff. That's I'm I understand that, but we're not delving into religion here. Yeah, but the people who do the whole, I'm 13 years old, 
I'm going to go. i that sort of thing. Well, no, no, not even that. It's uh, the whole, I'm 13 years old, and I, I rented the Necronomicon from <laughs> the, the local, li- my school local library, and now I am a dark. Dark lord of dark. the, of, of the a master of the dark arts. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. No, it was like, a lot of the followers of the, of the cult of the black are aristocrats. Like the the high, the upper society, I knew it. Where, where they were like, oh, I use this to gain power. Da, 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 da. <laughs> I'm like, no, bitches, it ain't, it ain't fun. <laughs> and I will, I will tell this as 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 a, as a hint. It is rumored that they have an artifact in their possession from the old world mm-hmm. that reinforces, and it air quotes, quote unquote, reinforces their beliefs in their system of power. So, yeah, having gone on cult. Okay, that's a good right hook, hook on the cult. <laughs> uh, there are a few other evil cults. A lot of them are along the lines of, like, the orcs have their own sort of thing. They have their own god. Uh, Dark elves have their own god. and that, that sort of thing. So not necessarily, like, cults, but, like... Ultra religions for an alternate race. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> religions that just about... Quote-unquote normal people wouldn't mm-hmm. get yeah. because it's that one group that only that one group that does yeah. it kind of thing but I, but I will say there is a there is another cult that follows basically their motto is, their their motto <laughs> another air quote was the cataclysm was the correct thing okay okay so that they, that they believe that the cataclysm was the old gods basically punishing the world and the bleed was kind of them trying to clean up the world to restart a, restart okay. anew okay so that was the finishing move for yes it's a cult <laughs> yeah we get it now yeah it's a cult it's a cult it is a <laughs> cult anyway cults so. are cults and cults are bad any any um okay so we got the cult question out of the way um so <laughs> if there's any way of not giving away a whole lot, um, what kind of things can we expect from my friend, my dearest friend? Oh, that, that well, list Carpenter is because just is because like be... based on based on the things that have already happened, mm-hmm. well, like in the next coming episodes that come up after this and shit like that. Well, Carpenter's going to try to protect you and, like, truly love them. Oh, oh wait, you're not talking about me? Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, since, Matt, since Matt is here, it's all right. I'm going to start. I'm, I'm going to use my our, our typical term, he who shall not be named. Yeah. Hmm. He who shall not be named. That's not copyrighted. Fuck it. <laughs> that which shall not be named. How about that? There we go. That yeah. shall, that shall, which. The thing. No, that's copyrighted. <laughs> that's definitely copyrighted. Him. There we go. Yeah, sure. Him. He has his own agenda to an extent. I can't really tell you what the, what the agenda is. Mm-hmm. He can just say he, he does have an agenda. For those of you who, who, who listen to up to where we have recorded after recording this Goblin Talk, because I'm going to assume this Goblin Talk will come out after yeah. the first cloud cover yeah, arc. arc thing. Yeah, Hell, thing. I might even be able to get it out tonight. <laughs> he says, no, laughing at himself. No, no, no. That in Ajax's character development, his development, you find out something about him, not Car- not Ajax, about the 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 the, the him, the him, the thing that lives that lives within Ajax. Has, quote unquote, a quest. For Ajax. And I am saying this in front of Matt. Uh, <laughs> has a quest for Ajax. Don't know what it is. Don't know why. Just is. And Excuse me. You dirty, dirty boy. <laughs> <laughs> so... He he does have he does have an agenda. There will be more development along his route, just like there is for everybody else. Okay, so instead of saying him for mm-hmm. for for the person, uh, I I I have an idea of an acronym that we could use: mm-hmm. Tia, T I A, thing and Ajax. No, 
We're not Aww. calling it Tia. Tia. <laughs> yeah. Though it would I, find it hilarious. <laughs> We're not calling it on, Tia. Yeah. And then it makes it a little bit more, un- instead of just saying him. I mean, if you can find some way of weaseling it into the new next episode, I'd be down with it. I'd think it's hilarious. Ajax would find it hilarious. <laughs> it would be the best comedy relief he would get out of it. <laughs> so, yes, we are but, now going to refer to it as Tia. <laughs> well, it does have a name. Uh, and Ajax hasn't asked what its name was. Uh, is. It hasn't given up its name yet. Yeah. Well, until then. But until, until then, we're, 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 I'm not going to give, him, give everyone the name yet yeah. until it does come up. Yeah. So it's... Until... until uh, named, it's going to be named Tia. Tia. Do we want to use the 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 phrasing for it? I don't know. The basically what you had me write down to describe it, because mm-hmm. I mean it's very it's a pr- it's pretty much what you had me write down to describe it as mm-hmm. would work perfectly fine for what we're doing right now. What do you mean? Eh, don't worry about Where's it. Where's my don't. notebook? No, you're no, you're good. But yeah, keep, just go ahead and keep talking. Alright, but yeah. Uh, he, he does have an agenda. It's convoluted as hell for for Ajax currently. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, that guy, the uh, he he who has ha- who he has a wide smile. No, Tia. Oh, the entity. Yeah, yeah, the entity. Yeah. Because, I mean... Okay, the entity like, or Tia. Yeah. <laughs> Matt likes the Tia. Tia being formal, the entity if we're not. <laughs> the entity if we're pissed at it. But Tia if we're trying to talk. Is there any other questions you have about the entity? Um... That I can reveal in front of Matt and listeners? Without... Is there going to be any point where... Okay, you made me within, like, within Ajax waking up after experiencing Mm -hmm. his first, like, real face-to-face encounter with the Entity, Mm -hmm. um, like, I remember you making me do a will save, Mm -hmm. and then I saw something. Is there ever going to be a chance where they see something as well? Well, technically, since they live inside you, the entity lives inside you, yeah. they're... T- whatever. <laughs> they see everything you see anyways, because, A, a your eyes change for starters. Yeah. It's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty cool. They let him see in the dark. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty good. But because it has basically hijacked your body... It can just project things now? Yeah. Okay. It can see through you, it can act through you, it can do whatever the fuck it wants through you. You are the conduit. I really want to see what happens with the whole act through you. But that would be a lot of fun. <laughs> so those might come up eventually, but you keep seeming to pass your will saves at a, pr- at a pretty good decent thing, or you're failing them at a decently high level. Yeah. <laughs> Crit fail. Crit fail. Well, <laughs> Kurt says, as he claps his hands and gives him a little run. Time to have fun. <laughs> Are there any other sort of questions? Oh, I will answer this. Since the ooze is involved with the entity, mm-hmm. and I've said this ooze is responsible for mutations, mm-hmm. and as we know, Ajax has had a mutation. Mm-hmm. His eye is changing. Mm-hmm. I will say that there is the possibility of future mutations occurring. And I think by the few episodes after this Goblin Talk gets gets released, mm-hmm. which is going to assume once we release episode 12, mm-hmm. the next episodes will have a possibility of him gaining more Mutation. mutations huh. or oopsies, <laughs> depending on how Ajax takes them. Even if they're oopsies, Ajax is going to be like, Hey, look what I can do! <laughs> <laughs> Just vigorously shits himself or something like that. I don't know. Alright. Um, so, yeah. Yeah! So, yeah that is the entity. 
Uh-huh. And his various Tia. ones. Yeah, yeah, Tia. This is Tia. Tia. Welcome Tia. to Tia. Welcome to Tia. <laughs> uh, any other questions you have uh, about Cicingis? No, I think we're pretty good on that. Um, I guess we could actually move to some... Uh, I, I've had some questions about some of the NPCs on our ship. Like inspirations like where where what inspired you for some of them <laughs> why crow why, why crow? Crow? Crow, crow, crow that's all i can remember <laughs> crow came about because i wanted someone that was kind of the comic relief okay sort of sort of individual and i really wanted a character that was annoying to the general populace of the crew yeah. but was necessary for the crew's continued functionality yeah uh, so Crow, an individual similar similar to Crow, popped into my head, which was basically the lookout. Yeah. He was originally going to have a bum leg yeah. and be a typical, I'm a pirate with a peg leg sort of, sort of individual. I was like, eh, that's too like on the nose yeah. for a pirate theme. So I spent a day going over my head, and I remember... Going over your own head? Now that's something else. Ha ha. And I remember just... Googling just 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 random things, mm-hmm. and ca- uh, coming across someone who made a cu- a custom made crow mask. Oh wow! And that's when I, that's what popped in my head. I went crow, Cr- crow. <laughs> so so it was from there that I that I started making crow. Yeah. And from from that theme, moving down from there. Okay. To to now to what crow is. Okay. So that is crow. Uh, blue, <laughs> blue. I decided to take the typical "I am a pirate and I'm a pirate I shall always be" kind of individual and just I don't want to say slap on a fantasy theme to him, yeah. but that's kind of kind of kind of what I did. Yeah. But blue is a cat person. Yeah. And he is similar. For lack of a copyrighted term. Yeah, and he is similar to a copyrighted uh, race. From another, from another, from from another game, in similarity, yeah. but he's kind of what most would consider in D anD D the quote unquote the, the typical anthrop- anthropomorphic cat. Okay. Uh, Helga is kind of as I believe it or not, Helga was influenced by a character from Treasure Planet. I was about to yeah. say that she felt yeah. super super <laughs> Treasure Planet Treasure yeah, Treasure Planet. Yes. That movie and is. If you haven't seen it, please definitely go see it. We're not. Obviously, we're not sponsored by. What was it? Pixar? Disney. Was no. it Disney? No. No, no it wasn't Pixar. Disney. It was, it was Pixar. Pixar. I think Pixar. Anyway, yeah, we're, not, we're, not we're not sponsored, sponsored by all. them, but. Oh, that my was God. our child. It's a great movie. It's yes. a great movie. I want to get this solar system tattooed on my arm. But she is inspired by Arrow. Yeah. She, is, she, she was inspired by Arrow because I really wanted to stop on the ship. A really heavy, I am as clean cut as clean cut can get, kind of an indiv- individual on a pirate ship. Yeah, I'm a pirate, not because it's I'm a I'm a rebel or anything. It's because it's a ship. They need a first mate. I can keep them float. Fuck it. Yeah, that's Helga. Helga is is quintessentially the quote unquote mom of the ship. Pirate mom. Pirate mom. She makes sure every Fuck every, Captain Cotton Cutter. It's fucking Pirate Mom now. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> for those of you who didn't get it, like a long time ago, or for those of you who forgot, I was literally just thinking up nicknames for everyone. <laughs> for a while, Crow was Bird Scum. Uh, I dropped that one because I was like, no, nah, that's just rude. Yeah, and um, Carpenter would not appreciate that. Yeah. Blue. Blue's I lo- nickname is literally his nickname. Yeah, it's His name is, is his nickname. And then whenever I was thinking of uh, Helga, I was like, dude, like whenever whenever Kurt was describing her, <laughs> like cut like her stuff was pressed so much you could cut shit with it, and I was like, huh, cotton, cutting, cotton cutter, Cap- cotton cutter, Captain Cotton Cutter, Triple C Cotton Cutter Cutter, <laughs> Triple C, yes, and that's where Triple C came from. But there you go. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Pi came about as another comical sort of sort of character that I decided to throw in. Yeah. 
I don't know why I decided decided to make him a sort of southern esque kind of character. I it, I just think it fits yeah. pie because it's pie. Yeah. I th- seriously thought about doing, and I a lot of people are probably screaming at me when they hear this. If you guys have ever ever played, um, oh, the evil something. Yeah, that's beyond beyond good and evil. Yeah. Okay. So, three, two. I love you. So, I I, I really wanted for for to do pie it was a sort of, sort of sort of a character design from good from beyond good and evil, mm-hmm. which is like, like that pig anthropomorphic. Yeah. I really considered doing that. Yeah. Because that fits pie. Yeah. Being a cook and a large, jelly-filled individual, yeah. but I decided against it, just making him just a plain old human. Yeah. And it was some some people probably screaming, "Oh, that would have been great!" No. No. Yeah. We have enough anthropomorphic individuals on the ship. Yeah. Don't need more. Yeah. Um, the next the, the next two individuals were a slow development, and they kind of got developed as the games progress so far. Like I like they were named by listeners. Oh yeah, the the the, yeah, the engineer and the bard. Yeah. Uh, for right <laughs> now, <laughs> they <laughs> don't have too much. Yeah. Uh, for the for them, I don't want to reveal too much right now because yeah. it's further on in the story. They'll yeah. become more and more prominent, and I apologize for not making them prominent. Yeah. At, it, it, at it's, the beginning, it's because hard. some of them, some you don't see until something happens, like yeah. the engineer. If the ship's st- the ship shit, if the ship starts breaking, that's yeah. when she would. If pop the ship up. goes to shit, yeah. that's when she pops up. Yeah. Uh, the bard I was going to eventually have where she just kinds of appears one day because people forgot where she was. Yeah. She was locked in a crate. Yeah. <laughs> and below decks, and just it, comes and up. Motherfuckers, I ate through an entire month's worth of rations. You're letting me the fuck out. <laughs> I'm staying on fucking board. <laughs> Yeah. Anyways, and, here's free bird. <laughs> and, and if people uh, have to just wonder, she does play the accordion. Yes, yes, um, she does have an accordion. Accordion, accordion, accordion. And one of the reasons why, because uh, when we were, because we kind of suggested c- characters for the the two pe- the two characters that the the listeners may, uh, named. And the reason why I suggested Bard is because, A, it just fits. It, it just fits, and B, I watch One Piece, and I'm too much. I I, I, <laughs> I agree. You you need a Bard on the ship to make it fun. Mm-hmm. So I mean, otherwise I, it's everyone telling the same shitty jokes over and over and over and over again. Yep. Exactly. And for, for for the engineer, I decided to make the, that character an engineer. Mainly because of Firefly. Yeah. And then also we kind of need someone that can actually work on the ship. Yeah, without... none of you guys fucking have any, have any understanding of how the ship actually functions. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah. So far, though, those, are the, are those are the NPCs that are on the ship currently. Yeah. And that's their, their various inspirations. Mm-hmm. A lot of them were just random shit pop ideas in my head. Yeah. Now... At this point in time, I don't think we've named the ship. No. No. We have not. We have not. We have not named the ship. We have not spoken of the na- name name of the ship. I've came up with it in secret. Yeah. You, it will be revealed at a later time. And not we here. shall we and we shall not refer to it as that. I will tell you that now. No. We will refer not. To, we will probably refer to it as whatever we decide to. <laughs> exactly. Ajax is just oh yes the shithole. <laughs> The flying shithole. <laughs> a little bit. A little hey, bit. hey, excuse me, Carpenter tries his best. Tries. Just a little bit. <laughs> he doesn't know how to ship right. I don't know how to ship, okay? <laughs> I know how to I know how I to know carpen. house, not ship. I, I know how to carpent, not not ship. Not ship right. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Um so yeah. Actually bringing it up, uh, characters and stuff. Um I kind of wanted me and Nick to explain like what our inspiration for our character was and a <laughs> lo- little bit of the backstory that we can say and if Kurt had any questions for us. 
um, for our characters. And well, I w- for, for starters, what was your inspiration for these characters? I mean, I had no influence yeah. except for Bree's character. Bree, and and I, I do want to point uh, touch on that first. The Bree's not here right now because she has to work in the morning at uh, what, what five or f- she has to be up at five. Yeah, like we. All four of us will will hit the town running basically, and then we'll yeah. go and do whatever the fuck pleases us. Yeah, usually hookers and blow, but that's just my <laughs> choice. But ha 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 ha. Anyway. Yes, yeah, whatever. I'm just kidding. Prostitution <laughs> is illegal, so is blow. So two negatives make a positive. No, uh, um, <laughs> but um, no, like she she has to work like bright in the fucking early morning no like before it's even bright kind of yeah. early and because i kind of... i work with her at the same place and we <laughs> early's early early yeah early. and it's currently 2 a.m in the morning yeah Is it? yeah it's, it's 127 according to the it's not 2 a.m it's one tw- it's 130 it's close enough for me <laughs> it's close but um, um but yeah yeah she she's got an early shift tomorrow i don't neither do i fortunately yeah. Um, and, so that's why she's not here. And yeah, um, with her D and D characters, she's our special player. Usually, um, we, as, as we've stated before, especially in the podcast itself, Brie is Brie. Yeah, Brie is either does really, really bad or holy shit, she's a god. Yeah. yeah. Basically, what we do is we go, okay, how would you like to play this game? Yeah. She'll give us a general idea, and we go, okay, here are some of the options we can we'll, give you. We'll make this work. Yeah. We'll and make it work. We basically, Do you like this? And then yeah. she'll go, meh. And then we'll go, okay, how about this? And then usually, second or third time, it's like, oh, God, yes. Yeah, yeah we, 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 with her influence, we create a carrot. We create a <coughs> stat block, basically. Yeah. yeah. We, we create the stat block, and then she brings that to life. Yeah. Because, yeah. like, quite literally... We have our own little shindig outside of this. We don't just play this game of D&D because yeah. we record just about every Saturday, but also every Wednesday we have a person that we play with and we play a completely different set because this is Pathfinder. We play the new thing from Starfinder. the same people, pa- uh, Starfinder. I don't know if we're allowed to talk about it or yeah. not, but fuck it, whatever. Uh, um, it, we they're, play... they're an open, open uh, they're literally an open, ga- open game mall. Okay. But um, we we play their other uh, setting. setting, which is Starfinder. In Starfinder, she wanted to play something called a Solarian. I wanted to play a Solarian, so I built it. So I understand Solarian through and through. She didn't, and the fucking stat block for Solarian is a bitch. Yeah, so yeah, I he's built a rather interesting player for, for, for yes. that. Yes, so, um, whole thing about Solarian is kind of entropy and shit like that, but whatever. Um, like, build, she asked me to do the stat part of it, and Mm -hmm. I just basically said, all right, here's the abilities you can do, what do you want to do? And I would list them off, and she'd be like, ooh, I like that one, I want to do that. And Mm -hmm. I'd be like, okay, cool. And then I'd write it down, we'd go on from there. Yeah, Bree's definitely an RP kind of player, rather than a stat block player, which I, I, I do love. Like, I myself am an RP player rather than yeah. a stat block player. Yeah. Because I'll throw in so many freaking things. Like, the way I generate a character is, I go theme, backstory, race, class, <laughs> character. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, usually what we have to do for Brie is, and she's, she tried with the whole Solarian thing to actually build the sat block, but eventually I took over because it got complicated. Solarian is convoluted as hell. It's a great class, but it's convoluted. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but still. Mm. she She's tried before. I don't blame her for not wanting to do it because there is a lot of number crunching. Okay. And yeah. for those of you who who don't haven't built any characters in any sort of D&D, there is a lot of numbers. Yeah, a lot. So I will let... Matt and Nick describe their characters, their whole reasoning for what they're doing, and then I'll describe some of the stat block stuff for Bree. And I know when she's here for a goblin talk, I'll ask her to describe her characters, her personality influences. Yeah. I'll tell about Button's special powers. Well, I think... I'd leave that... Don't, don't. I, I would say don't. Le- leave well, out I Button's... Mean, 
And people have already have are, are probably starting to realize Button's little gifts. Yeah, but leave it vague. Yeah, yeah. Leave, gotta leave something for the. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, um, Matt, you want to take it away? Uh, yeah, I guess I will. Sure. Um, so my influence for Carpenter. Um, so the, I I had really, a, the biggest one is Michael uh, J. Carpenter from uh, the book series. Um, Dresden? Dress, yeah, the Dresden Files. Um, he's the, a literal knight of the cross, carries sword of blah, blah. Uh, uh, paladin. <laughs> yeah, he, he is a paladin. <laughs> and he's all holy and righteous and stuff, but he's very protecting of his family. And I, I really like that idea. And I how I usually play characters is I am the type of guy that I want to be from. I want to feel my sword going through them as I... As I penetrate their body. Oh my! Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm I, I, I I'm the melee guy. I like melee. It's fun. But um, I had some other ideas of what I, I wanted to do. Um, because I've never played a wizard or any a like major. Kind of yeah, so I wanted to dip my toe in it. So. Curtis suggested the Magus, so that's why I did that. And um, for the whole amnesia thing, I wanted to give Carpenter some type of twist. Um, that so so that uh, Kurt the DM can play with it. So it's not just hey here's a character and here's some of the backstory. It's I'm actually learning some of my backstory because I gave him, I think bullet points of like four or five things that are needed. And he's just basically going to start throwing the rest at me. So when, <laughs> when, when Carpenter has a memory, I probably won't know it and it will be dramatic. Um, <laughs> you mean <laughs> traumatic? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> um, so yeah, that, that was kind of like what I was wanting to do. And, um, but with, uh, Carpenter from Dresden, he is the holy knight of the shiny cross and all that and everything. And I was just like, I, I got really into like cards, like doing decks of things and tarot, tarot specifically. Tarot specifically. And I, I really like the idea of the card of death because everyone thinks oh it means death and the end well no it doesn't it means the end the, of the, one thing into another yeah, yeah it's it it means of change and um what that's kind of like how i picture carpenter so he he is a huge man he is six foot uh Five, I do believe. I, I, six foot six or six foot seven i can't remember he big guy he big guy. he is muscly as like terry cruz with like very like emo tattoos. There's like a the the uh, tattoo of the the death card on his back. He has a raven on his shoulder. He has multiple stuff on his chest. And you know, typical uh, piratey shit. Yeah, ish. Well, and yeah, 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 and yeah. so because I I I want I wanted a character that he's he's not afraid of death, but it's not the type of not afraid of death as in. I'm, I'm willing to go to Valhalla. It's I'm not afraid of death because I know it's not the end. I know there's something after, so I want to see what's after. Yeah. But and with him, he's with the whole him being a protective person. I want I wanted someone that that's like me because I'm a very protective person of my friends and family, and I wanted to try to embody that in a D and D character, but to a way that would be interesting, not just I want to protect it, it. I wanted to actually make a character. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so that was kind of like my backstory and idea of what I wanted Carpenter to be. Um, and I, just if anyone's actually going to ask or anything, Carpenter is not his like real name. Yeah. Um, basically what happened was when he woke up, um, he landed in a town, uh, it's dark naked, basically <laughs> holding his, basically holding his, uh, 
battle case. I, I don't know what to call it. The thing that holds all his weapons and clothes, pretty much. Mm-hmm. And basically, most people just thought he was a drunkard, didn't really talk to him or anything. But an old man came, took him in, and Carpenter didn't have any money. So he just worked around his house, fixing up his house. And the old man was a carpenter, and he... Basically, he's just said, well, since you don't know what your name is and you don't know what you do, I'll just call you Carpenter because you seem to be pretty good at doing this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's pretty much where that comes from. What about you, Nick? So, um, before we got into, like, the whole, like, describing what our characters were, um, Matt had literally written down talk on characters on a little post-it note, and... The second I saw that, I was like, so, like, where really did I get this inspiration? For those of you who do not know me, I watch way too many movies. So, um... <laughs> That's an understatement. He watches <laughs> more movies than I watch anime, so... Yeah. Like, I'm... It, it, it's not like I'm one of those kind of people who's like, oh, this movie sucks, because blah, 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 blah. No, it's me basically going, ooh, movie, cool! So, obviously... I'm not going to use the name of it, but um, there is a very, very, very popular series of movies related somewhat to some of the themes in this game. And I was kind of like, ooh, I like this one particular main character from it and like some of the ideas around him. Yoink. <laughs> and I kind of ran with it. I obviously had to change it a little bit so that way it kind of fit the way I like to play and stuff like that. So Ajax came to be because I was like, Hey, what can I do with him? What kind of fun do I want to have with him? So basically I started off with, he's a pirate mm-hmm. born and raised born on a ship best die on a ship or else he's doing something wrong. <laughs> um, he's a drunkard like the stereotypical pirate. Um, I kind of wanted to use that a little bit kind of as a, not necessarily character development, but kind of like character detailing kind of like, Oh yeah, he wants to, it's it's a defect without being a defect sort of thing. Yeah. It's one of those. Oh yeah. As a pirate, it isn't always yo ho, yo ho pirates life for me. At some point you're going to see some messed up shit. Drinking is, is his way of making sure he can stint that away and keep it away. Um, but obviously he drinks, he's a pirate, he has no sense of balance when it comes to land, if he's, like, directly touching it, because he doesn't feel the natural sway of a ship, because literally he was born on a ship. For those of you who like anatomy, he was in fluid on a ship whenever he was a baby, (laughs) before he was born. He felt it before he was even alive. So he naturally has a somewhat off-kilter balance. Yeah. Hence why, whenever he's on a ship, shoes come off, he has the balance of the gods. <laughs> or as God. close as possible. <laughs> yeah. As close um, as you could possibly be. To, yeah. To true, to true level. Um, <laughs> to kind of make it... To kind of help me imprint myself on him, I gave him some of my past issues, kind of, sort of, maybe a little bit... So, obviously, Ajax was born and raised a pirate. Therefore, his mom and dad were pirates. Um, <laughs> so, there's there's a whole lot of stuff that's going to be going along with that that I can't really say because Matt's here. But, like, it's just kind of shit went down, shit happened. There's a high possibility of more shit happening. So... One thing leads to another, and out of nowhere, Ajax is going to have whole lots of fun. Um, I also added a little bit of, kind of added flavoring for Kurt to have a little bit of fun with, where he can be like, oh, hey, yeah. Because whenever we were coming up with the ideas for these characters, we were like, oh, what are some, what what can, kind of weird quirks can we have? At the time, I was st- Stubbornly obsessed with a song. One of his defects involves said song. 
obviously we will probably never be able to play it over the airs or whatever. We'll <laughs> reference it. We'll give the title of it or something like that. But yeah, it's the second he hears that song, something will happen. And whole lots of character backstory and stuff like that. I kind of tried to keep him minimalistic so that way I can kind of sway him a little bit <laughs> whenever I needed. Of me. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want him to be like locked down. I just wanted him to kind of be like fluidic. Yeah. If something happened and DM says, "Oh yeah, this happened to you." I can be like this happened to me and just play with it like just that. Going from there, yeah. 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 I didn't, and I don't really like having locked down characters because I've tried to do that before back a long time ago. And then the DM, it wasn't Kurt, literally just took a massive shit on my character and said, nope, doesn't, doesn't happen. Yeah. So it's, that's why I like playing more open characters so that way I don't have to deal with that yeah, bullshit anymore. Yeah. yeah. And, and Car- Carpenter's past is open-ended just with the memory. But everything else is pretty just locked tight because I like having... You like uh, having some structure with your fluidity. Yeah. With me, how I make characters, I make backstory. I make character appearance, then backstory, then everything else because nothing else really matters. Car- yeah. Carpenter's backstory is deadlocked, solid. Yeah. Carpenter himself is rather fluid at character because yeah. he is an amnesiac. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, and looking up facts about amnesiacs is very odd. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Some can develop split personalities and all that kind of junk. And yeah. No, that will not be happening. No. I will crush that right now. Yeah. And kind of, obviously, sticking with the piratey theme, whenever I was asking Kurt, like, hey, I'm not super familiar with Pathfinder. What's something that'll fit it? He was like, oh, butt swashler. <laughs> swashler. I was like swashbuckler he was like yeah swashbuckler i was like okay what can they do he's like oh yeah you're gonna spend these panache points and then you're gonna do sweet parries and shit i was like that sounds pretty good for a drunkard the whole drunken fighting style or whatever the hell it's called i move like water (laughs) because i drink too much of it (laughs) (laughs) i move like rum on good day (laughs) but yeah he's that that was the whole point behind me picking the whole (laughs) swashbuckler just class to... was to kind of give him something to work with with his natural quirks. I just started thinking, be fluid like rum. <laughs> be fluid <laughs> like rum. Yeah. Ignite on fire when introduced with fire. Yeah. But speaking of character flaws, I got gummies and I'm eating gummies. Let me know. <laughs> okay, sir, much lot. I'm a fat man for a reason. <laughs> Dude, we're all fat right now. Yeah. So. Anyway, um, um, yeah. But yeah, like, keep... Like I said, he's not really locked in stone. Yeah. He, I like to keep things fluid so that way if yeah. something does happen or shit like that. Because, like, um, <laughs> Ajax... Ajax isn't really very family-oriented because of what happened in his past. He's very much... I look after my crew because I don't want my crew fucking up. Yeah. He is... He is a diehard pirate, not one of those, oh, do what you want because a pirate is free kind of bullshit. Yeah. No, he is like, if you're a pirate, you're a pirate. Yeah. You get to have fun, but you're a pirate. Yeah. <laughs> pirate first, everything is second. Yeah. And so, yeah. he's he's not like one of those guys who's like, oh, no fooling around kind of. No, he's he he is the complete opposite of that. He's like, fooling around, but job happens. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I'm a pirate. Our job just steal shit. Fly a, fly a ship. Fly a ship. And plunder treasure. Yeah. That's a pirate. Plunder booty, good sir. Yeah. And the, the, yeah. the reason why Carpenter is very uh, family eccentric is, well, how I said I'm protective of my family and stuff in real life, and I kind of... Mm-hmm. I like imposing some of my own characteristics in my D&D characters. Um, but I wanted to give him kind of that quirk that he, since he is an amnesiac and doesn't really know stuff about himself, it, other than the man who took him in and basically gave him the name Carpenter, he this is kind of his only family, so he doesn't want to see any of them hurt. So he's very, 
he's that overprotective dad. <laughs> That's why I call him the dad. We emo we, dad. We call him emo dad. Yeah. Yeah. Like, cause he's all goth and shit. Yeah. But he's also a dad. Yeah. And and he, and he tries. He he wants everyone to like. Get old. Play nice, kids. Well, well, no. Like, he, he understands, like, you gotta take risks and stuff. He wants you to grow and everything. But he just... To see someone in his ship to get hurt hurts him type deal. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. You and Darth Vader start screaming, No! That's Carpenter. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I yeah. killed my own son. No! <laughs> <laughs> My wife is dead. No. Okay, I'll stop. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> so, uh, do you guys have more questions for us, or hmm? not for for character? I think 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 you guys answered it pretty well for oh, why you why you decided to have those characters, yeah. your backstories, your influences. Yeah. I feel like we're always writing an essay whenever we get onto. Goblin talk. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, here's your question. Give me a, a four paragraph response. <laughs> all MLA for that or whatever it is. Well, I have to get a four paragraph response because I'm the DM and I have to explain why the fuck I'm doing something. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, um, so I think we're pretty good on this. Uh, I just kind of want to close out on talking about our social media, our platforms and stuff and oh, just kind of yeah. some updates are going to be coming. Um, we uh, we were on SoundCloud. Um, there were some technical issues with that, and we had to move to um, YouTube. Technical. Um, so currently we're on YouTube. We are trying to uh, find out some stuff on to getting onto iTunes, actually. Mm-hmm. Hopefully by the time you are hearing this episode... You'll be hearing on iTunes. Yes. Yeah. And, and various other things like Stitcher and all that. Um... Anything we can throw an RSS feed at. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> um, uh, we have a Facebook, uh, Goblin Radio Podcast, um, on Facebook. Uh, look, uh, if you're on Twitter, you can find us at... Um, Goblin Radio Podcast. Is, is it? I thought it was uh, yep. at, at Goblin Radio. Yeah, at Goblin Radio Podcast. Yeah. People who use, use Twitter know the whole yeah. handle bullshit. Yeah, all that. It, but yeah. You mean um, hashtag? No, it's handle. Oh. No. Hashtags for when you're actually tweeting. Yeah. Do you even tweet, bruh? Are you even a twat, bruh? Nope. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah. So we're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, we're we have a Tumblr. Um, we have our Tumblr where you can post uh at our any of it, you can post fan art, uh, ask us questions. Um Matt lives on Tumblr. Yeah, I do. And Twitter, Ashley, oddly. But yeah, uh, ask us questions, posts, fan art, um, pretty much anything. We'll try to get back to you. And with some of the stuff, we might save it to answer on Goblin Talk and all that. Um, am I free in anything, boys? Uh, um, so we're 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 gonna try to do something with Tumblr, where we're going to try to see if we can put our content. Up on Tumblr, there's a whole lot of technical reasons why we're trying to do it. Yeah. But Namely free. Well, we're, yeah, free, yeah. but we're just, it's it's free and it's easy and it's a whole yeah. lot less of just mess. Yeah, it's yeah. a lot less mess and just a lot more of getting to it. The main reason, we're, we're going to try to, obviously we're going to keep putting stuff out on YouTube. Yeah. Which is where most of our stuff is going to be. But we're going to try to start putting stuff up on Tumblr, and it's going to help us get to the whole setup with iTunes and, thing. And stuff like that, yeah. Yeah. And um, I also do want to say something, that um, after the Adventures of Ether is over, I know this has just started, but there are going to be other games, and we'll have little breaks, like one-offs with uh, certain games. There'll be li- <laughs> little specials and stuff throughout the the time here yeah. um so i just want to give you a heads up on that type of stuff what's you can prepare for in the future the next um, one-off is actually going to be with me dming yeah and it's going to be a whole lot of fun because it's going to be absolutely terrifying yeah that's <laughs> the intent <laughs> but anyway don't want to give too much spoilers for that so oh no, no, no um yeah if there's something else boys i think we're good 
Mm. No, sir. All right. So, as always, have a great day. Have a great night. And see you later. Bye. 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 <laughs>